Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Problem number 35, chapter 23, Gauss law. Let me read out the problem. Figure A shows three plastic plates uh, that are large, parallel, and uniformly charged. Figure B gives the component of the net electric field along the x axis through the uh, through the sheets. The scale of the vertical axis is set by ES is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per coulomb. What is the ratio of the charge densities on sheet 3 uh, to that on sheet 2? So, ES is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 5, 6.0 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per coulomb. Up to ES, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 divisions. So, each division is 1 into 10 to the power 5. So, this is here 1 into 1.0 into 10 to the power 5. This is then 2 into 10 to the power 5, 3 into 10 to the power 5, 4 into 10 to the power 5, 5 into 10 to the power 5, and finally 6 into 10 to the power 5. Uh, this graph gives us the field in different regions. This the, the combination of the three sheets divide the space into 1, 2, 3, and 4, 4 regions. Okay. So, we have region 1, I will call this, I will call this region 2, I will call this region 3, and I will call this region 4. So, in region 1, net field due to all the 3 sheets is 0. In region 2, net field due to all the 3 sheets is 2 into 10 to the power 5, this is second division. Then in the third region, net field is 6 into 10 to the power 5. Then in the fourth region, net field is again 0. So, we have to find out ratio of the charge densities on sheet 3 to that on sheet 2. So, sigma 3 divided by sigma 2 is what we had to find out. Let me assume uh, sheet 1 is having charge density of sigma 1, sheet 2 is having charge density of sigma 2, sheet 3 is having charge density of sigma 3. Charge density, charge per unit area. Okay. So, charge per unit area sigma 1, charge per unit area sigma 2, charge per unit area sigma 3. To begin with, I will assume all the three sigmas to be positively charged, all the three sigmas to be positive. Okay. Then at the end, the sigma that comes out to be uh, positive is actually positive and the sigma that comes out to be negative is actually negative. So, in the beginning, I will assume all the three to be positive. Then by the time we find out sigma 1, sigma 2 and sigma 3, we will come to know with the signs of sigma 1 and sigma 2, what is the actual sign of sigma 1 and sigma 2. Suppose sigma 1 ends up being negative. So, that would mean that sigma 1 is negatively charged. Now, uh, I will consider the three regions separately, uh, three regions only because 1 and 4 are identical. So, I will consider three regions separately. Region 1, uh, sheet 1 will develop field E1 away from sheet 1 because I am assuming sigma 1 to be positive. Uh, sheet 2 will generate electric field E2 again uh, away from 2 because I am assuming sigma 2 to be positive. Then sigma 3 due to sheet 3, E3 again away from the sheet because I am assuming sigma 3 to be positive. Okay, so net field will be E1 plus E2 plus E3 and each field is sigma divided by 2 epsilon 0. We have been doing that for many sessions now. Sigma by 2 epsilon 0 is field due to a single sheet. So, field in region 1, net field in region 1 is E1 plus E2 plus E3. Now, E1 is sigma 1 divided by 2 epsilon 0 is in the negative direction, okay, is in the negative direction. So, I will write minus sigma 1 in divided by 2 epsilon 0. This minus sign has to do with direction of E1, not with the sign of sigma 1, okay. Then E2 is again negative in the negative direction. So, minus sigma 2 divided by 2 epsilon 0. Then E3 is again in the negative direction. So, minus sigma 3 divided by 2 epsilon 0 is equal to, now this graph shows us that region 1 is having a field of 0, net field of 0, okay. I am not using unit vectors because this is one dimensional case. Field is either in the positive direction of x axis or negative direction of x axis. So, plus and minus signs are sufficient. So, this implies 2 epsilon 0 common, take it to other side, 0 will eat it up minus. Uh, so, we will get sigma 1 plus sigma 2 plus sigma 3 is equal to 0. This is our equation 1 for region 1. Sigma 1 plus sigma 2 plus sigma 3 is equal to 0. Obviously, one of them, at least one of them has to be negative, then only uh, the sum will come out to be 0. 
So sigma 1 <coughs> plus sigma 2 plus sigma 3 is 0. Now I will consider region uh, 2. Okay, I will consider region 2 now. Now uh, region 2, field due to 1 will be away from 1 because we are assuming one, uh, all the sigmas to be positive. So away from sheet 1. Field due to 2 will be away from sheet 2, so E2. Field due to 3 will be away from sheet 3, so E3 like this. E1 is in positive direction. E2 and E3 are in negative directions. And net field will be E1 minus E2 minus E3. Uh, negative direction is for E2 and E3. So I'm using minus sign for them. Minus E2 minus E3 and plus E1. And net field is here 2 into 10 to the power 5. Okay, 2 into 10 to the power 5. So uh, net field in region 2 is E1 minus E2 minus E3. So this is sigma 1 divided by 2 epsilon 0 minus sigma 2 divided by 2 epsilon 0 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 epsilon 0 is equal to from here 2 into 10 to the power 5, okay. 2 into 10 to the power 5. So this implies uh, 2 epsilon 0, I will take common and shift it to the and shift it to the other side, we will get sigma 1 minus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 is equal to 2 epsilon 0 into 2 into 10 to the power 5. So this is equation for region uh, 2, call this equation 2. Now I will do the same thing for region 3 and develop one more equation since we are having 3 sigmas. So uh, in region 3, field due to 1 will be rightward away from 1, field due to 2 will be rightward away from 2, field due to 3 will be leftward away from 3 because, because we are assuming all of them to be uh, positive. Then uh, net field in region 3, yes we are called that region 3, is equal to E1 is in positive direction plus E2 is in positive direction minus E3 because E3 is in negative direction. So sigma 1 divided by 2 epsilon 0 plus sigma 2 divided by 2 epsilon 0, sigma 2 divided by 2 epsilon 0 minus sigma 3 divided by 2 epsilon 0. In region 3 field is ES which was 6 into 10 to the power, uh, so 6 into 10 to the power 5, okay, 6 into 10 to the power 5, yes, 6 into 10 to the power 5. So this implies sigma 1 plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 is equal twice epsilon 0 into 6 into 10 to the power 5. Call this equation 3. Okay. So we have three equations now. Let me write all the three equations here. Uh, I have them here. The first equation was sigma 1 plus sigma 2 plus sigma 3 is equal to 0. This was equation 1. The second equation was sigma 1 minus sigma 2 minus sigma 3, sigma 1 minus sigma 2 minus sigma 3. This was equal to twice epsilon 0 times 2 into 10 to the power 5, 2 into 10 to the power 5. Did I write epsilon 0 here? Yeah. This was equation 2. Then equation 3 was sigma 1 plus sigma 2 minus sigma 3 is equal to twice epsilon 0. 6 into 10 to the power 5. This was equation 3. Let me check that. Uh, yes. So now we have to solve these equations and uh, finally find out the ratio sigma 2 divided by, si what do you have to find out? Sigma 3 divided by sigma 2. Now uh, I'll add 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 implies sigma 2, sigma 2 cancels out. Sigma 3, sigma 3 cancels out. We have twice sigma 1 equal to 0 plus this thing is twice epsilon 0, 2 into 10 to the power 5. 2 and 2 cancels out, so sigma 1 is equal to epsilon 0, 2 into 10 to the power 5. This is sigma 1. Okay, this is sigma 1. Call this equation 4. Now, uh, now we'll add uh, 1 and 3. 1 and 3. 1 plus 3 implies 1 plus 3. Sigma 1 plus sigma 1, twice sigma 1, sigma 2 plus sigma 2, twice sigma 2, sigma 3 and sigma 3 will cancel out. So I'll write twice sigma 1 plus sigma 2. Both of them are twice, twice sigma 1, twice sigma 2. Then uh, 0 plus this thing is just this thing, uh, twice epsilon 0, 6 into 10 to the power 5. Okay, 6 into 10 to the power 5. 
2 and 2 cancels out, sigma 1 plus sigma 2 is equal to epsilon 0 times 6 into 10 to the power 5, okay, 6 into 10 to the power 5. We can substitute sigma 1 and uh, find out sigma 2. So, this implies sigma 2 is equal to epsilon 0, 6 into 10 to the power 5, sigma will go, 1 will go to that side, so minus and the value is epsilon 0, 2 into 10 to the power 5, epsilon 0, 2 into 10 to the power 5. 6 minus 2 is 4, so 4 epsilon 0, 4 into 10 to the power 5. This is sigma 2. Call this equation 5, okay. Call this equation 5. Now, we will add 2 and 3, okay. We will add 2 and 3. So, 2 plus 3 implies, 2 plus 3 implies, uh, sigma 1, sigma 1 is twice sigma 1, minus sigma 3, minus sigma 3 is minus twice sigma 3, sigma 2 cancels out. So, we get twice sigma 1 minus sigma 3 is equal to uh, 2 epsilon 0, 2 into 10 to the power 5, 2 epsilon 0, 6 into 10 to the power 5, 6 plus 2 is 8. So, we will get 2 epsilon 0 into 8 into 10 to the power 5, fine. 2 and 2 cancels out. Sigma 3, I will take to this side, 2 and 2 cancels out first, is equal, sigma 1 is here, I will shift this here, so minus epsilon 0, 8 into 10 to the power 5. So, let us use sigma 1, sigma 1 is epsilon 0, 2 into 10 to the power 5, epsilon 0, 2 into 10 to the power 5, minus epsilon 0, 8 into 10 to the power 5. 2 minus 8 is minus 6, so minus epsilon 0, 6 into 10 to the power 5. This is sigma 3. Call this equation 6, is it? Yeah, 6. So now we have to find out sigma 3 divided by sigma 2. We have to find out ratio of charge density on plate 3 to ratio to uh, charge on uh, plate 2. So sigma 3 divided by sigma 2 is equal to Sigma 3 is minus epsilon 0, minus epsilon 0, 6 into 10 to the power 5 divided by sigma 2 is epsilon 0, 4 into 10 to the power 5, epsilon 0, 4 into 10 to the power 5. So, what cancels out? Epsilon 0, epsilon 0, 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 5, 2 into 2, 2 into 3, 3 by 2 is 1.5. So, sigma 3 divided by sigma 2 is minus 1.5. So, sigma 3 is negative. So, ratio comes out to be negative. Minus 1.5. Unit less. Okay. This is ratio. So, unit less. That will do for this session.